السلام علیکم و اللہ وبرکاتہ اسٹارٹ آر کلاس ود دعا کین آئی ہیو اسٹوڈنٹ آن دا مائک پلیز جی تھری ون زیرو السلام علیکم السلام علیکم Miss Allah from Satan, the rejected. Okay, can I have another student on the mic, please? G205. G205. Assalamualaikum. Alaikum assalam. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good too, alhamdulillah. So, can you read this? Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Mashallah. And can you read translation for us, please? In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. Jazakallah. Okay. So let's see our prayer of the day. It's this one. Uh, can I have another student on the mic, please? G211. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good too, alhamdulillah. So, uh, do you want to try it first or should I read it and you will follow? I will read after you. Okay. Uh, um, Rabbi. Rabbi Alimni Alimni Mahua Mahua Kairun Kairun Indaka Indaka Good job. Let's try to read these two together. First two words Rabbi Alimni Rabbi Alimni Ma huwa Ma huwa Khairun indak Khairun indak Good job. Let's read it all together. Rabbi alimni Ma huwa khairun indak Rabbi alimni Ma Yes, Shabash. Yes, we will be more mindful of this tashdeed here. Remember, we have to stress when we see a mushaddad letter or letter carrying a tashdeed. So this will be Alimni. Alimni. Good job. So let's read till here. Rabbi alimni ma huwa. Rabbi alimni ni ma huwa. It's alimni. Alimni. Rabbi alimni. Rabbi alimni. Rabbi alimni ma huwa. Rabbi alimni ma huwa. Khairun indak. Khairun indak. Good job. Let's try one more time if we can join this one. Rabbi alimni ma huwa khairun indak. Rabbi alimni ma huwa khairun imdak. Good job, mashallah. Let's read the translation. Oh my Lord, teach me what is best for me in your knowledge. Good job, mashallah. Jazakallah. Okay, let's see our class etiquette. So we should all be uh, in wuzu. 
and evolution. We should be wearing clean clothes, head should be covered, and then we should all be sitting in a quiet place. And it's uh, good if you have one parent present with you. And please, please use your correct ID so we can call you on the mic. And if you still don't have it, please email us with your information so we can provide you with the ID. Okay. So let's see our today's schedule. So today for we had just have had our assembly in which we had dua. Then for 20 minutes, we're going to learn new 30 rule, which is Hamza Sakin. And then, no, for 15 minutes. And then we are going to learn our new prayer from Holy Quran. And then after that, for five minutes, we are going to learn a hard word of Tilawat. And then we are going to learn commandment from the Holy Quran. And then we will we are going to conclude our class with the dua. So let's uh, start with our rule, which is this one, Hamza Sakin. Okay, Hamza Sakin. So this one is not go showing complete. Okay, can you see this one? If anyone can tell me this. Hamza Sakin rule. Support teacher, can you tell me if you can see the right screen, which I have just changed? Do you see the Hamza Sakin rule on the screen? Excuse me, I can see it. Okay, Jazakallah for letting me know. Jazakallah. So, no. Hamza Sakin, questions Hamza. So some of the words, uh, some of some words of the Holy Quran contains alif or hamza sakin. Alif or hamza letter with sakun. So whenever alif has any stroke in it, it's called hamza. It's not anymore called alif. See all any any stroke or sakun. So when alif contains sakun on it. That's called Hamza Sakin. So we will not call it Alif Sakin. We will call it Hamza Sakin. Because whenever Alif has anything on it or under it, any stroke, so it will be called Hamza, not Alif anymore. For Alif, you, it has to be blank. So this Hamza should be pronounced with a soft jerk from the bottom of the throat. So there will be a soft jerk when you're pronouncing it. The reciter must ensure that it is not exchanged with the ayin sound, which is pronounced from the middle of the throat. So two things we should keep in the mind when uh, pronouncing Hamza Sakin, that it shouldn't be from, uh, shouldn't sound like ayin, and it's with soft jerk. And again, it's not a madda, alif mad. It's not alif mad, but it, because it's not blank. For alif mud, it alif mud, it should be followed by stroke letter and it should be blank. But whenever alif has any stroke or hums on it, it's called uh, any stroke or sakoon, it's called hamza. So this will be we will be learning about hamza sakin. So this will be and you know sakoon always means joining. So this will be ta. Ta. Can you hear the soft jerk? Ta. And this word will be ah ta na. So this is not alif mad. As it's literally tricky. You can see a pata before uh, letter before this alif, but because it's containing sakun on it, it's now hamza sakin. So it's not the blank one, and you're not going to prolong. Uh, Actually, you're going to do the opposite. You're going to give a stop and soft jerk to it. So it will be na. So this is the alif mad. See, this, this is the prolongation one because it's blank. It has nothing on it. So after fata alif, it's going to make it prolonged for two counts. But this one is actually going to stop it and give it a soft jerk. na. Ma'kulin, 
See, this is not alif mat, and it shouldn't be sound like ain. So it shouldn't be ma. No, it's not ain. It's ma. Kulin. Okay, can I have a student on the mic, please? Uh, J three zero four. J three zero four. alaikum. Waalaikum assalam. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good too. Alhamdulillah. So, do you understand the concept that what is Hamza Sakin and yes. and uh, how do we pronounce it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's try this this one. The first example. I can't see your cursor. This you can see. The first no. one. Oh yeah, I could see the first one. Okay. Should I start? Yes, please. Oh, that, no. Yes, good job. So you can see my cursor at all? No. That's strange. It's... Now do you see it? No. So I see what you're pressing, but I don't see your cursor. Oh, okay. Okay, can you uh, please read the next, the, the, do you see the arrows and all that, the second yeah. arrow? Okay. Yeah. Can you please read it? Okay. Ma -kulin. Good. Just, good job. The jerk was really good. It's, this is not prolonged. That's it. The last. Okay. Can you try it again, please? Okay. Makulun. Yes, makulin. Makulin. Good job, mashallah. So, can you read this uh, second row, first word? Okay. Ya marukum. Yes. Ya marukum. Good job. So you understand that when uh, Aleph has any stroke or sukoon on it, it's called Hamza, not Alif anymore. And we are learning about when the Hamza has sukoon it, which is the call, uh, which is the rule is called Hamza Sakin rule. So you're gonna give a soft jerk to Hamza Sakin. And also the actual Hamza, that will also has the same rule. So this is the converted one, and this is the actual when we, which you have learned before the, do you, do you see my cursor now? No. Or any bar, or anything going now, no? Mm. That's strange. Okay, so can you read the third row where the arrow is pointing? One? I don't see any third row. Oh, you don't? This one? I think the screen is frozen because I, I only see two rows up to. Fa, fa, oh. I only see up to the. After that, I don't see anything. Oh, okay. So you don't see that my, I have seen. Oh, yeah, now I can see. Now I can see. Now you can see. Now yes. I can see. That's strange because now, now I, I can't see. How about now? Do you see it? No, it's like, it's no full table. I can see some things, but I can't see all of the things. And for this, you can see all of it. Yeah, for the first two, I can. For the third one, I can't see all of it. So, uh, okay, so you, it's all blank. No, it's not all blank, but I can see two. I can see. Yes, I, I understand. Uh, so, uh, so, two. Okay, okay. So you don't see this screen which I'm sharing now. I don't think I do. Okay, let me uh, share it again. So maybe you can see. Just wait a second. How how about now? Yeah, now I can see yes? it properly. Okay. Okay. Can you please read this one now? Do you see my cursor too? Yeah. Okay. Can you read this one only, please? Okay. Thank you. me. Yes. Just read this one full too. To me, Good job. So you see that it can be both. 
Hamza can be like this when Alif has any stroke or anything. And this is the Hamza you have learned before. So this is also called Hamza now because it contains Sukoon on it. Jazakallah. So close. Um, can my sister have a go next? Okay, sure. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I am good too. Alhamdulillah. Do you understand the Hamza Sakin rule? Yeah. Good. So can we, can you uh, say only this part of Hamza Sakin? Ma. Good job. And can you read the whole word? Ma. No, no. Good job. How about this one? To the... Good. You the. You the. Good. And this one. But so. Good job. So you understand that this is not a uh, mud alif mud. This is not going to prolong this for two counts. This is going to actually stop it and give it a, a soft jerk. Ba-sa. So this is called Hamza Sakin rule. Can you read this one, please? Sa-nin. Good job. This one, please. mu nin This is? Try again, please. mu Mu'minun. Mu'minun. Oh, Mu'minun. Good job. So if you see this Hamza and this means same thing. These are both now Hamzas. Can you read this one, please? Ya Zatna. Okay. Ya Zana. Ya Zana. Good job. How about this one? Fa you fa wu. Good job. Jazakallah. Can I have another student on the mic, please? J220. J220. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? I'm good. Alhamdulillah. How are you? I'm good too. Alhamdulillah. Jazakallah for asking. Do you understand the concept of Hamda Sakin rule? Yes. Okay. So uh, you understand that this is not Alif Mad because yes. this is containing Sakoon on it. This is called Hamza Sakin. So whenever Alif contains any stroke or uh, anything on it, it is it is called Hamza, not Alif anymore. It has to be blank to, call, to be called Alif, like this one or this one. So uh, do you want to try yourself first or should I read first and then you can follow? Um, I'd like to try myself. Okay, can you please read this one? Top. Good job. And how about this whole word? Uh, na. Good job. And how about this one? J. Good. And this? J. Tana. Yes, this is J. Tana. J. Tana. Good job. How about this one? Ta. La. Muna. Mashallah. Let's see. This one. What more? Good job. And the last one. Liyu minu. Good job. Mashallah. So this Hamza and this, they are both Hamza Sakin. So in this, you have the clear idea because you have learned that this is called Hamza. But in yeah. this one, in this one, uh, Aleph will be, always be called Hamza when it contains anything on it. Jazakallah. Jazakallah lafiz. Enough is okay, let's uh, let me stop here and go back to my other slides. 
So let's move on to our next section, which is prayer. Prayer from the Holy Quran. Can I have a student on the mic, please? G247. 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 Okay. G2 G255. G255. Can you please come on the mic, please? Okay. G269. G269. I see one raised hand. I don't know if they want to say anything. I would like to have a turn, please. Excuse me? It's G310 speaking. Can I have a turn? Yes, please. Jazakallah uh, for coming on the mic. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good too. Alhamdulillah. So, do you understand the rule of Hamza Sakin? Yes. Okay, and do you see any Hamza Sakin in this dua? Mm. Can just I go don't, through. I don't think so. Just go slowly, not here, maybe here. Mm, let's see. Do you see here? Mm, I don't yeah. think so. Do you no. see? Okay, no. How about this here? Do you maybe. see? Mm, I don't see any Hamza Sakin. Do you see here or here? Here somewhere, Hamza Sakin? No. You don't see here? Are you sure? Actually, I think I do. Yes, here you can see. See, Hamza has Sakun on it, which is called Hamza Sakin. Good job. And do we see here? Mm, I don't think so. How about mm -hmm. this one? Do you think we have Hamza Sakin here? Yes. We have Hamza Sakin here, but I think it's Noon Sakin because Noon has this Sakun on it. Yeah, it's a Noon Sakin there. Yeah. And we are looking for Hamza Sakin. We have many Sakun here, but we are only looking for Hamza Sakin right now. So do we have Hamza Sakin here? Only one. Only one. Yes, good job. Only one. And can you read only this word then? Let me scroll down. Maybe we have it. Yes. So, okay. Hi. Hi. Yes, it will be. Hi. Hi. Yeah, because we have here the C2, which means joining and stressing. So we are not going to forget about the rules which we have already learned and we will try our best to apply all of those. I know we can always go back and, you know, revise all those rules. Hi. Hi. Good job. So let's start reading from here. Do you want me to read first and then you can follow? Can I try by myself first? Okay. Sure. Rabbana Atina Min Ladun Karuna Tavahayu Lana Min Amarina Rashadan Good job. 
it's remember we learned that we are go not going to mix up this sound with oin sound which is very common we all do that mistake sometimes we are stressing so much that we switch the sounds so we are not going to switch this sound we will say hayyi hayyi yes so um I will read and then you did good job. Let's uh, read after me. And everyone who is not on the mic, you all uh, follow me by yourself. So this will be Rabbana. Rabbana. Atina. Atina. Milladunka. Milladunka. Rahmatan Rahmatan Wa hayyi lana Wa hayyi lana Yes, just don't make it ayin Wa hayyi lana Wa hayyi Yes, don't make hayyi No, don't, don't take it to ayin sound Yes, hayyi lana Good job. Min Amrina. Min Amrina. Roshadan. Roshadan. Yeah, but the, but there is a stopping rule here, so um, we will which we will learn later. But we will read it like Roshada. Roshada. Good job. Let's try Are to. Are be stopping there? Excuse me? Aren't we meant to be um, stopping there? Yes, we are supposed to stop here. So this will be Russia the... Russia the... Can I read the translation? Okay. Uh, let's read the translation. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, oh, no, no, sorry. This is the different one. Uh-uh. Yes. Our Lord bestow on us mercy from thyself and provide for us right guardians in our affair. Yes, right guidance in I our just got, I just got um like a question that I want to ask because um I don't understand few words. The yes, meaning. sure. Yeah. Bestow um a fair and provide. Yes. What does those mean? Words bestow. Mean? Bestow means to provide us, to uh, bless us. Okay. What does provide mean? Provide also means uh in the same way, but bestow is more like humble, and uh, you are asking Allah Taala for his mercy and blessings so you're uh, it's more humble and you're um, you know uh, asking more humbly so that's the difference uh, and what does affair mean in all in our affairs it's it, it means in all of our matters all all the things we do even a simple small thing like breathing or which we do unconsciously or any bigger thing which we want or we do so anything which we um, so guide us on the that right path that we do it uh, which is the right like a righteous people we don't stray and we do don't go on the wrong wrong path so we are um, asking and I'm uh, praying to Allah Ta'ala that please provide us right guidance all the time so we don't uh, go on the wrong path okay yes thank you welcome Jazakallah. Allah Hafiz can I have another student on the mic please G247 G247. I see some, maybe someone is in chat box. Okay. G270. 
they are saying you didn't allow g247 to unmute assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam how are you alhamdulillah i'm fine how are you i'm good too alhamdulillah do you understand the today's tartil rule yes and uh, can you spot that rule we which we have just learned in this dua can you please um i can't I find it are you sure you don't yeah. need to be hamza sakin in this word is it ya sakin no this is hamza sakin hamza sakin we are learning about hamza sakin so here do you see it now yes okay so can you read this word hayya oh. this will be a soft jerk hamza sakin means you're going to give it a soft jerk which is going this word is going to be i know it's little tricky because uh, of this tashdeed or shadda so but still we're going to try yes yes mama yes mama hayyi hayyi good job so can you read these two words wa hayyi wa hayyi good job so let's uh, read this whole dua do you want me to read first and then you can follow can you can i please repeat after you yeah sure rabbana rabbana atina atina mil ladunka mil ladunka rahmatan rahmatan wahayyi lana wahayyi lana min amrina min amrina rashada rashada good job let's start to combine a little bit rabbana atina rabbana atina min ladunka Meladunka Rahmatan Rahmatan Wahayyi lana Wahayyi lana Min amrina rashada Min amrina rashada Good job. Let's read it all together. Or maybe we'll do half it. Rabbana atina min ladunka Rabbana atina min ladunka Rahmatan wa hayyi lana Rahmatan wa hayyi lana Min amrina rashada Min amrina rashada Good job. So Hamza Sakin is this one, and uh, a Hamza with sukun with a sukun. Read with a soft jerk. No, the ya here is silent. Which ya? Hayi lana. This ya. So this ya is silent. So because uh, Hamza is sitting on top of it, so we will only going to read this Hamza. So, can you read translation for us? Our Lord, bestow on us mercy from thy thyself, and provide for us right guardians guidance. in our affairs. Right guidance in our affairs. Jazakallah. And this verse is this dua is from Surah Al Kahf. So, can I have another student on the mic, please? J three one six. J three one six. Okay, let's move on to our next section now. Then. Yes. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. We are going to learn the hard word. This is the hard word of the today. So, do you understand the concept of Hamza Sakin? Do you know yeah. what? Yes. Can you yeah. tell me if you see Hamza Sakin in this word? There. Yeah. Are, 
Okay. Which one? First one or second one? Which one is Hamza Sakin? First one? Yes, good job. The first one is the Hamza Sakin because other one has Dhamma on it, which is Manmoom. So this is Hamza Manmoom, but this is Hamza Sakin. Good job. So can, let's, let's try, let's see how you, we are going to read this word because when you see a hard word, we should always try to break it down. And when we break it down, it's easy to read. So let's start with first part. The, let me read for you the whole word and then we can start it. Min hu mal lu, lu u, it's not for long, sorry. Min, min hu mal lu, lu u. So let's break it down. This is the first part. Can you read this? Help me find it. Min. Min, good job. And then we were going to join this, these three letters. Manhu. This is Minhu. Minhu. Good job. Let's do, we are going to skip, remember, all these blank letters, we are going to skip it because we are going to see Tashtid here, which means joining with stress. So let's try can you try it or should I read it first? Try it. Okay, let's do it then. Min ho, min ho mal. Yes, min ho mal. Good job. So this is min ho mal. Let's see what's next. Min ho mal. Look. Good job. Good. You did very good, Hamza Sakin. Your jerk was just perfect. Let's do this part now. Good job. And let's finish this word. Look. Look, look, look. Good job. So this will be min hu mal lu lu u. Okay. Min hu mal lu u. Yeah. It's, it's, you're almost there. You were reading so good. And I know it's a little tricky here. Min hu mal lu lu u. Min ho mal lo lo o. Good job. Jazakallah. Jazakallah come for coming on the mic. Can I have another student, please? Uh, G317. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. So, do you understand the rule of the today, the 30 rule? Hamza yes. Sutin? Good job. Yes. And are you ready to try this hard word? Yes. Good job. Let's see. Let's start breaking it down. So can you read this first part? Min. Good job. Let's, sorry. Next one, the joining three words. Min who? Good job. And now... But the intended slip hasn't been sent. Oh, support teacher, you don't have attendance slip for today? No. No. Oh, okay. Oh. Maybe. Uh, if you can ask, support teacher, can you please ask on the group if they can send it to you now? <laughs> At least before the class ends. I have some messages to both of them that are available there. Um, Help teacher and the the other. Yes, yes. I'm. I was uh, Zakala for letting me know. I was asking support teacher if she can send in the uh, teachers group. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Zakala. So, can we continue from here, please? Minhuma. 
Yes, and remember, we if we have tashtit here, the next word, that means we're going to skip all these blank letters because it's a joining, remember? So when you're joining, you will not read this, and this also will not be uh, alif mad anymore. You will, this will directly join to this tashtit letter. So this will be min humal. Min humal. Good job. And now, min humalu. Remember min, this? Yes. Min humal. Malu. Good job. A very nice jerk. And now, min humalu. Lu. Good job. And only the last part is left now. So, let's see. And here. Min humalu. Lu, lu. Good job. Just one more time. Min humalu. Lu. Good job. Very good job. Mashallah. Jazakallah for coming on the mic. So let's move on to our next section, which is commandment of the Holy Quran. Can I have a student on the mic, please? G273. G273. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum How are you? Good. How are you? Good too. Alhamdulillah. So, do you see our Hamda Sakin rule in this commandment from the Holy Quran? Here, do you see anywhere Hamda Sakin? Uh, no. No. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Now, do you see it? Yes or no? Do you I see it? Alif yeah. I, remember, I said when Alif has any stroke or sakoon or anything on it, it's it will not be called Alif anymore. It will be called Hamza. Okay. okay? So okay. this will be also called Hamza Saki. Okay. So this this is on will be called Aleph because it has no stroke on, stroke on it. But yeah. this will be called Hamza. So mm -hmm. this is Hamza Saki. Hamza Saki. Yes. Can you read these two uh, together? These two. You know, Sakoon means joining. So can you read these two? Ha. Yes. Can you uh, make a little bit more jerk so I can also hear it more clearly? Ha. Yes. Wa. Wa. Good job. So, and do you want me to read this first or, or and you follow or you can read yourself? I can read myself. Okay, let's let's start. Who who will or of va va who will or be good job. Very well done. Let's let's make a little bit more obvious jerk here. Va mur. Va mur. Good job. Let's try to read again this combining everything. Who will of va 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 mur bil or fi? Good job. Can you read it one more time, one last time? Okay. Who will of va va more bill or fee? Good job. Just remember, this is not be, will be alif mad because it's this alif is containing sukun on it, and it's now called hamza sakin, not alif. Okay, let's read the translation. Thank you for giving us and enjoying kindness. Good job, mashallah. Jazakallah for coming on the mic. Can I have another student on the mic, please? G288. G288. Uh, 
Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good too. Alhamdulillah. So do you understand the Hamza Saken rule? Yes. Good job. So let's, uh, do you, can you spot the Hamza Saken here in this commandment of Allah Ta'ala? Next to the Va. Yes. So can you read this whole, this word only please? Va more. Good job. So, uh, do you want to read it all by yourself or should I read it first? By myself. Good job. Okay, let's start. Kuzil of va va morbil urfi. Good job, mashallah. Just make this little bit more, you know, jerk more obvious. If I don't see it, so I should be, you know, able to hear more jerk. So if I don't, if I even I'm not looking at this uh, commandment, I should be uh, able to recognize, okay, there was a jerk. So a soft jerk, but not the hard one. Can you try one more time, please? Good job, mashallah. So can you read the translation for us, please? Take to forgiveness and enjoin kindness. Chapter 7, verse 200. Mashallah, Jazakallah. And you all know if you want to practice this at home, there is actually we should all, there's a link to Tilawat and you all have this in your drive. So you we should all practice. Even if you're not on mic, you should all practice. Jazakallah. Jazakallah for coming on the mic. Can I have another student on the mic, please? I don't have link to Tilawat on my drive. Excuse me? I don't have link to the language on my phone. Oh, really? Okay, I will uh, try to let the organizers know so they, they will fix it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Jazakallah. G306. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good too, Alhamdulillah. So, do you understand the uh, Hamza Sakin rule? Yes. And you understand this too, that even if you see Alif with Sakun, that will not be called Alif anymore. It will be called Hamza. So, this will be Hamza Sakin. So, can you read this word please for me? Or do you want me to read first? Um, can you read first? Yes. Wa mur. Wa nur. Let's go to next slide so it's highlighted. So this is the Hamza Sakin. Wa mur. Wa mur. Good job. So this will, let's try to read the dua, uh, the commandment. Huzil afwa. Huzil afwa. Wa mur. Wa mur. Bil orfi. Bil orfi. Hosil of Wawa Morbil Orfi. Hosil of Wawa Moril Mo Bill Orfi. Yes. Good job. Just take your time. There is no rush. Take your time and look at the word and I read it. Uh, my cursor, if it goes faster, just ignore it. Okay, can you can you read it one more time, please? So, so, Ozil, 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 Huff, Wa, 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 Morphe, Orphe, Orphe. Yeah, let's. Uh, I will read and then you can follow. Ozil, of Wa. Hazel Afwa Wa Mur Bil Orfi Wa Mur Bil Orfi Good job. And can you please read translation for us? Take to forgiveness and enjoin kindness. Mashallah. Jazakallah for coming on the mic. Jazakallah. So now we are at our uh, last part, which is we're going to back to the dua. 
concluding dua for today's class. Okay. This one. Let's see if we can find any rule of no Hamza Saki not here and not here. Okay, can I have a student on the mic, please? J279. G279. Have you received the uh, link to the attendance support teacher? No. No, if you can just, you know, write down yourself, if we will ask them to, to tell them that we haven't received. So, can I have a student on the mic, please? G247. G247, we have to conclude our class. Please come on the mic, please. We have to conclude our class with the dua, closing dua. Any other student, please come on the mic. Uh, so, teacher, please, can you please call anyone else? G220. G220. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Jazakallah for coming on the mic. So, can, uh, can you read this concluding dua for today or should I read it first and you can follow? Um, I'd like to read it myself, please. Jazakallah. Go ahead. Allahumma arhamni bil Quran al Azim. MashaAllah. And can you read the translation for us, please? Yes. Oh Allah, have mercy on me through the Quran the Great. Good job, MashaAllah. Jazakallah for coming on the mic. Can I have another student on the mic, please? The co teacher, can I have another student on the mic, please? G288. G288. G306. Okay. Please come on the mic so we can read this concluding dua and then we can conclude our class on time. G304. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Jazakallah for coming on the mic. So, no problem. Can you read this dua for us or do you want yes. me to read first? Uh, I'd like to read this after you. After me, okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. Allahumma. Allahumma. Allahumma arhamni. Allahumma arhamni. Bil Quran al-Azim. Bil Quran al Azim. MashaAllah. Let's state it together. Allahumma arhamni bil Quran al Azim. Allahumma arhamni bil Quran al Azim. Good job. Can you read translation for us? Oh Allah, have mercy on me through the Quran the Great. MashaAllah. Jazakallah. So, support teacher, we have um, uh, the attendance now. They are saying, 
if you can post it quickly and then everyone, if you can please quickly mark it. So I will end the class in a minute. And excuse me, it's still not on the. Yes, I know. I know it's not, but they are saying it should be. Okay. Do you see it, support teacher? Um, it's the support feature has, has that I have not received um the attendance. Okay, okay then we will manage somehow other way. So Jazakallah everyone for joining. I will end with the prayer, uh, with the uh, Islamic prayer. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.